Hi, James here. Now, just before I start, it's been a bit of a long day. I'm really tired and I've had a few. And uh, I, I don't know how long I can keep up the professionalism throughout the video, so I might let it slip and I might mess up a few bits throughout the video, but I can't be bothered to edit or anything tonight. So, it's the last video I'm doing today, so I'm just going to go with the flow, whatever. Uh, but anyway, what this video is about is uh, video editing. Now I get a lot of emails, people asking me, you know, questions about video editing. And if you watch any of my other videos, you'll know that I do a lot of editing in my videos. I do a lot of cutting, splicing, you know, adding visual effects, CGI, uh, you know, widescreen. I don't know how that's, ed well yeah, I suppose it is video editing. But I do, I do a lot of video editing, I try and cut and splice my videos and try and get them to look sort of professional, you know. I try, I don't know whether it comes across, but yeah, I do I do try. Um, and basically I do get a lot of emails, people asking, how do you put, uh, you know, how do you do this, how do you do that? And one of the questions I get commonly asked is, how do you put videos in widescreen for YouTube? Uh, well, here's the thing, a lot of people have asked, do I need to get a new camera to uh, do videos in widescreen? Because uh, the people are using like a, like a digital camera, not like a video camera like this, a camcorder. They're using like just a normal still digital camera that's got a video mode on it. And they're saying, do I need to get a camcorder enabled to so I can put it on uh, YouTube as widescreen? Well, no, you don't have to. Um, putting the video in widescreen is not down to the camera. It's actually down to the software that you use. Okay, so I'll get to that in a second. Now. There is a way you can put your videos in widescreen if your camera hasn't got a widescreen mode. But first, I'm going to talk through with you what the widescreen modes are for a camera. And if your camera's actually got this, then you won't need to do much, okay? Because this will do all the hard work for you. But let me quickly show you a couple of modes which your camera may have, which will help you here. Right, okay, now I hope you can see this, but I'll quickly show you some of the modes which uh, your camcorder may have, okay? Now first of all, okay, is off. Okay, so off is just normal, there's no sort of stretching on the video or there's nothing there, it's just normal how it films it. Then you've got one called cinema, which if you notice, it puts the bars at the top and the bottom of the, uh, the video. Now all that does is marks the safe area, so when you come to put it into widescreen on your software, on your computer, you know how far to stretch it to put it into the correct aspect ratio then you have what's called 16 by 9 full. Now if you notice what that actually does, I don't know if you can see this very well, what it actually does is stretches the video so it's really long. Um, so it's vertically long, not horizontally. Now you're probably thinking, well, I thought widescreen was wired you know, horizontally that way on the video. But the reason for that is it stretches the video vertically then, when you put it on the computer and stretch it horizontally, it will put it in the correct aspect ratio and that will make it widescreen. Okay, don't worry, I will go over this on the software in a second, you'll see, it'll all become clear. But yeah, these are the three modes, but if yours hasn't got any of those, then don't panic, because I'll show you where you can do it without. Okay, so if your camcorder hasn't got that, or you're using a digital still camera, and 99% of digital still cameras do not have any kind of... Uh, settings to change the aspect ratio of video at all. It just the only settings you've really got is brightness and to change the resolution. You know, sort of whether you want to be filming in like you know 720 or 320 by 240 or whatever it is. So the only thing you're going to need for this is a camera that you normally use to film with, regardless to whether it's a camcorder or a stills camera, and a roll of gaffer tape or electrical tape. Either one will do. I'm just going to use gaffer tape. You're probably thinking, is this going to be some kind of dodgy Blue Peter thing? But it, it could possibly well be. Okay, so what I'll do is, I'll move the camera, and then I'll show you what you've got to do. Right, okay, so if your camera hasn't got any of those modes, what you need to do is get yourself a bit of gaffer tape, like this. You just want to pull a bit off. And what you want to do is actually tear the tape in half, long ways, like that. So you end up with two strips, right? Now, you, this looks pretty bizarre, but what you actually want to do is stick them on the screen of your camera. Now, this is pretty trial and error because every camera is different, but it's usually you want to stick it so that it covers about a centimetre of the top of the screen, okay? Like so. And then what you do is just get scissors and just trim it round so it's obviously a bit neater. Where's the other bit? There it is. Right. And then put another one at the bottom. Again, a 
about a centimetre in, okay? Now, you're probably looking at that right now and thinking, are you some sort of idiot that's not actually going to put it in widescreen because it's not on the lens, it's on the screen, okay? Hear me out and bear with me here, okay? All will be clear in a minute. So basically, when you've done that, it looks a bit Heath Robinson, but believe it or not, that's actually what the professionals do on their um, 60 hertz monitors that they view behind the cameras. They actually use gaffer tape, believe it or not. So if anyone ever says to you, that looks jippo, say, well, yeah, but it's what the professionals use, so... Right, anyway, so yeah, once you've done that, you now want to do your filming, and all you've done is now you've marked the safe area. So when you're filming, you'll know to keep all of your footage between those two gaffer tape marks you've just made. And if you was using a digital stills camera like this, okay, you'd do exactly the same thing. Just put a bit of gaffer tape, like I say, about, about a centimetre in on the screen. Like that. Right, okay, now, armed with your new modified camera, you need to go and film your video like you normally would, so go and film whatever you're filming. Then, you need to plug your camera into your computer, take out your memory card, plug in your USB cable, firewire, whatever you normally use to take the footage off your camera onto the computer. Now, this one, I'm going to use a firewire to get the footage off, so um, bear with me while I do that quickly. Okay, so I've now copied all of the footage onto the computer. So once you've done that and you've copied all of your footage off the camera, you need to now use editing software to cut, chop, convert to HD, widescreen, whatever. So um, the program I would normally use for this is called Sony Vegas. And the only problem is a lot of people haven't got Sony Vegas and a lot of people don't really want to buy Sony Vegas. So I'm going to show you uh, a free open source alternative to Sony Vegas, okay? Um, what I'll do is I'll put the um, link to get this program in the description and uh, it's 100% free, completely safe, no viruses and what I'll do is I will show you the software now. Okay, so the program we're going to use is called WAX, uh, W-A-X, WAX. Uh, it's version 2 and uh, it's completely free, like I said, so just go ahead and download it. The file is only about 2 megabytes, so it literally takes seconds to install. Okay, so once you're in the program, what you want to do is right click on this little folder here and go to uh, Add Media Files. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the file which is here. This is what I've got off the camera. And it's just some footage I filmed earlier of my cat. So what we do is now is just drag this down to the timeline and there's our video there. Okay, now, so you can see that video is not in widescreen, it's in 4 by 3 aspect ratio. We need to get it to 16 by 9. So what you need to do is go up here where it says Project Settings, and then here it says Frame Width. So change that to 1280, and then change the frame height to 720, and your frame rate, whatever your frame rate of your camera is, mine's 30, so 30 frames a second. And then click OK, and you can see it's put the video frame into that uh, dimension, so it's put it as uh, 1280 by 720. So what we need to do now is right click on the actual video track okay, and then go here where it says stretch to fill but maintain aspect ratio. So if you click that and there you go. So what it's done now is maintain the aspect ratio so it hasn't stretched it and made it all fat and weird. It's made the video bigger but it's cut some of the top of the, and the bottom of the video off. Hence why you needed to put the, duct tape, uh, the gaffer tape on the screen to make sure that you know you've got a safe margin because it will cut a tiny bit off the top and the bottom of the video. And there you go, as you can see that's now in widescreen if we play this footage. You can see it's just literally the footage of my cat sniffing around. So um, there you go, that's how you put your video in widescreen. Okay, so that's if you've used the gaffer tape method. Now if your camera has the 16 by 9 setting so you can actually stretch the video vertically what setting you would use is the setting here that says stretch to fill and you can see what it's done to this video it's actually made it look really compressed and it's really wide and fat and weird and that's because the video file was filmed in 4x3 and we've actually converted it to widescreen and by converting it to widescreen you're actually stretching the video Whereas if you had the video already filmed with a longer vertical uh, resolution, then when it stretched it, it would look completely normal. But because obviously this is 4x3, it's not in widescreen. 
So that's pretty much essentially all you need to do to put your videos into widescreen. And again, you don't need any kind of specialist camera or anything. I just did it with a plain old Sony Handycam, nothing special. And the software, again, the software is free. So there you go, video camera, roller gaffer tape, and you've got your video in widescreen. So there you go, I hope this video has been a help. As usual, got any questions, just bung a comment below, and I uh, hope this answers your question. Okay, thank you for watching, practice and enjoy. It's all warm. I'm going to go and get a fresh one out of the fridge, I think.